At the heart of FreezerWorks 2015 Summit is the new patient management module. In order to use patients effectively, you must link them to associated sample records, and by proxy, those samples, aliquots, and tests. You can link existing patients or create and link a new patient in one fell swoop. This is done inside new or existing sample records. So first, you must ensure that your sample's entry form of choice contains patient fields. To do this, go to System Admin Samples Entry Forms and either open an existing form or start from scratch. We're going to add a new one for this video. Your patients fields are located on the palette under the Patients tab. Drag over the ones you need. These are the fields you will use to link, so be sure to choose fields that help identify the patient the most. A patient field is designated on the form by the patient icon to the right of it. I'm going to add some samples fields as well, so my form's not too bare. All right, now save and close out of samples entry and click Sample Management Add New Samples. You can also go to the list view and open an existing sample. Once the form opens, if necessary, you might need to click Change Form in order to select the entry form that you place the patient fields on. Now, if you are linking the sample to an existing patient in the database and you have the information ready, you can enter the necessary data into the patient fields. Note that you only need to enter data into one patient field in order to link it. Once you've got a field filled, click the patient icon to the right of the field. The program will display any patient records that match that entry. If you see the correct patient, highlight it and click the Link Patient button, which will automatically fill the rest of the patient fields on your form with the newly linked patient's existing data. If you don't see your patient, you can click Create New Patient, which will add and link a new patient record using the data you entered. Since we've got our patient right here, let's link it and watch the other fields fill in. Now, at any point you can choose to unlink the sample from the patient and clear the patient fields of their data. Just click the Unlink button at the bottom of the form. Click OK on the confirmation to continue. Watch as all the patient data clears from the form. If you don't have identifiable patient data at the ready, you can simply click the patient icon next to the most searchable field. Let's go with doctor. The link form opens, but with the search bar this time. Enter in the data you want to search and press the button. The program returns the matching records, and once again you can highlight and link a patient, or create a new one. If you choose to create one, you will then need to enter all the patient data manually. But all of this data will be automatically linked to the new patient record. Once you're finished, save and close the record to return to the landing page list view. Now let's go to the Patients page and find the patient we just created and linked. If necessary, change the form to the one with the Patients fields that were on your Samples form. The patient data we entered in the sample is here as well, and in the bottom section we can see the lone linked sample. We can use the list format dropdown to pick a preferred samples list view. Now, if the linked sample had any aliquots or tests, they would be visible here on their associated page. Now, the page buttons work just like the landing page, and the list format dropdown changes to match the page selected. Well, that's how you link samples and patients. Thank you, 
And until next time.